My guest this week is one of the most exciting new comedians in the country. Rosie Jones is one of the fastest rising stars on the UK comedy scene. I'm disabled, I'm gay, and I'm a prick. <laughs> the BBC loves me. In the last few years, she's written for the smash hit Netflix show Sex Education, showed off her dramatic chops acting in Silent Witness, and now she brings us her brand new travel series, Mission Accessible. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rosie Jones! Yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm sad to wake up. We can't hug, oh. mate. And it looks so rude of me to go, we yeah. simply cannot hug. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you and you've not been deliriously excited. You have, like, such an energy about you. Like, every time I see you, you're like, hey! hey, hey. <laughs> well, we, were, we were literally backstage, and I was like, hey, thanks for coming. Yeah. Um, and you were like, people! There's <laughs> people here! Yeah. But basically, I wake up every day, I make people laugh, and I get paid for it. Of course I'm happy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Honestly, I feel like I say it too much, but I am living my dream. Yeah. Um, and I never put it on. I'm genuinely so happy, so yay! <laughs> no. You've got a new um, a new documentary out on Channel 4 Online yeah. that is all about disability and access, isn't it? Yeah, so it's a travel show where I go around the country seeing how accessible places are. And I'm pretty much like a tour guide for disabled people. So it's called Mission Accessible, but I'm very unhappy about that what? because I wanted to call it Crip Advisor. Oh. <laughs> that's an absolute, that's an absolute That's a good title, man. It's you must have been so excited and then went, eh, eh, no. uh, 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 Absolutely no, absolutely yeah. not. No. What have you what have you learned then? What's been the what's been the eye-opening um, um, discoveries? So I think when you say the words disabled, holiday, accessible, it sounds a bit dry. It sounds like we're talking to Margaret, who's 80, in a wheelchair, and she wants to go on holiday to Bangor. Yeah. It's like, well done for you, Margaret, but I don't care. Yes. <laughs> Which is something that only you can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're all thinking it. <laughs> Whereas, presumably, your thing is about a young lady that uh, is trying to get banged on a holiday. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> always! <laughs> and I always do! <laughs> <laughs> and what I love, so you're, you're basically you're travelling with other comics, aren't you? Yeah, And you're yeah. kind of answering questions from disabled people about, sort of, like, the, the you know, yeah. places they want to go. Yeah, right? so... What I wanted to do was tailor-make a holiday for a person's needs yeah. and for their disability. You went on a, a glider. Yes. Which yes. we've actually got a clip of you. We can have a look at it here. This is very cool. It just wasn't in my, my plan this morning when I woke up uh, to tumble to my death from a glider. 
Often thought with gliders, they look terrifying because it's like you, you, you've got another plane holding you, yeah. and then it just leaves, yeah. and then you're like, "What?" Yeah. And is it exhilarating or? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Okay. For the show, I want to say this is amazing right. because we did it for a guy with cerebral palsy who wanted to do something incredible and it was but not for me <laughs> like it's almost a do you do you want to fly a glider or do you want to stay on earth <laughs> and drink eight pints in the pub <laughs> Oh. Yep. <laughs> but that just wouldn't be good telly, would it? No. <laughs> just you getting bollocks yeah. like that. Yeah. Only had seven. <laughs> so, it was amazing. And what you didn't see there was, it was dual control. So the pilot was in the back. I oh, like, yeah, Star Wars. But yet sometimes she would say, it's over to you now, Rosie. Wow, so you... And I drove it. But I've got cerebral palsy. So when I drove it, the glider went like that. <laughs> and it was a windy day, so it went like that. <laughs> and because of COVID, we had to wear face masks. Um, yeah, I was sick in my own face mask. <laughs> oh, my God. And what I love most about that is when you got down to the ground, they cleaned your face <laughs> and said, yeah. say it was brilliant. <laughs> and you're like, I'm literally covered in vomit. You say it was brilliant. I am a professional. Absolutely. That's exquisite. Um, yeah, it's so fascinating as well, because you also wrote on uh, Sex Education, which is a big show on Netflix. I don't know if you've yeah. seen it. It's great. And you wrote a whole episode about uh, disabled people having sex. Yeah. Uh, sex education is brilliant because the on-screen talent is so diverse and being an awkward disabled teenager who secretly was a raging lesbian. <laughs> couldn't process all those ideas, mm. especially because when I turned on the telly, there was nobody like me. Mm. So for years, I honestly thought, I'm not gay. I'm disabled. Right. Like, I could only fit one different thing in my life. Yeah. Um, and I hope that now we're getting to a stage where you do turn on telly and you do see 
people are called who are also gay mm. or disabled people who are also trans. Yeah, absolutely. Amen to that. Um, and you've also, what's really exciting as well, that is projects coming out of your ass. <laughs> um, you've got a sitcom out as well. Isn't it the idea that it's is, is if you're like, a bit like sliding doors, that there's able-bodied Rosie and there's disabled Rosie and the, the different lives that they lead? Yeah. So I got cerebral palsy, which happened because when I was born, I didn't breathe for 15 minutes, which is a long time not to breathe. Yeah. D don't try it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but really, if you time it, it's such a short time for your whole life to change. Yeah. Because if those 15 minutes had gone differently, I could be able-bodied. And I think the able-bodied version of me would be completely different. How do you, do you, do you uh, imagine her? Is that something that you've ever thought about? Yeah, yeah. And in the sitcom, we use that idea. But in my real life, I've thought about her a lot, especially in my teenage life, where, yeah, sometimes I thought, it'd be so much easier. I wouldn't be judged, I could do this, I could do that. But where I am right now, the only time I think about able-bodied Rosie is when I go, I'm so glad I'm not her. Yeah. Because I wouldn't be here. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing all the exciting things I'm doing. And I don't think I'd be as happy. Mm. I'm, I'm not religious, but I really honestly think everything happens for a reason, and I'm meant to be disabled, and I'm proud of it. Wow, I can't think of a finer way of ending the interview than that. Ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic <laughs> Rosie Jones!